Hey, so I'm gonna do this quick video on um, quite a few concepts that people have told me they're um, not quite grasping when it comes to couponing. One of them is rolling. Uh, rolling rewards is uh, what I took that to be. Stacking. Um, how to know what coupons are coming out, how to know what sales are coming out. Spotting a must-have deal, um, also known as a deal that you want to stock up on um, and knowing that it's a good deal and not having to worry that a better deal will come along basically. Um, planning out your transactions, how you know what's going to work out, etc, etc. And um, so here is where I'm at. So uh, my example of rolling um, will be the rewards that I used for this deal and then I used the rewards from this deal for this deal okay and then I used one of the rewards from this deal for this deal okay so uh, I started with ten dollars and up rewards from Super Bowl Sunday from buying some pizza and we had looked online at iheartrite.com which showed that the Colgate toothpaste was gonna be on sale for three dollars and fifty cents and when you buy one you got back three dollars and up rewards now the net total on that would make that fifty cents per bottle Okay, now as a couponer um, and someone who's been couponing for a while, I will not pay for toothpaste. So when it was about a week before the sale, Sunday Coupon Preview put up that there would be a 50 cent off one Colgate toothpaste coupon. Okay, now that's an even better deal because it'll make them free essentially. The toothpaste is three fifty. Use the fifty cent off one coupon, which makes it three dollars. And even though you're gonna spend that three dollars, you're gonna get back three dollars. So getting that three dollars back to spend on something else at another time essentially makes it free because you're gonna utilize that three dollars again. Okay, so um, like I said, I went in with ten dollars in store rewards. Okay, I bought four Colgate. That was the limit, was four Colgate. And I used four 50 cent off one coupons, making each one of those $3. Got back $3 for every single one, making them free. Now on top of that, um, Rite Aid has a um, program where you spend $1,000 and you get 20% off of regular price items. Now even though this it was on sale for three fifty, the regular price of the toothpaste is three ninety nine. Now with my 20% discount, that's $3.19. And because my discount makes it a better price than the sale price, I get the 20% discount price. So they were three nineteen dollars a piece minus my 50 cent coupons, made them $2.69 a piece, and then I got back $3. Okay, that's what we call a money maker, because even though it was only $2.69, I made back $3. So I made about 31 cents on every single bottle, okay? Doesn't seem like a big deal, but it does add up um, over the weeks when you do several money making deals. Now, an example of stacking, um, and what I consider to be a must-have or a stock-up price, is free light bulbs. Now, uh, the toothpaste was obviously a stock-up price because it was a moneymaker. Even with it free, to me, that's a stock-up price. If I'm paying zero or I'm making money, to me, that is stock-up, okay, which is a no-brainer. Um, but here's an, here's an example of stacking. So, these were on sale that same week for $3.99, okay? There was a $3 store coupon that was in the weekly ad, making it $0.99. Cents. Now I can stack that store coupon with a manufacturer coupon, which we did have for a dollar, okay, which made them free because they were on sale for $3.99, minus that $3 store coupon, making it $0.99, cents, minus my $1 coupon, making it free. Okay, and because I paid with store rewards, here is my $10 in store rewards that I paid with. I ended up paying $0.75 cents for four tubes of the toothpaste. Um, and these were free. The light bulbs were free. So that didn't really cost me anything at all. So $0.75 cents for four tubes of toothpaste. And I got back $12. Okay. Then um, these light bulbs, even though they were free, that $3.99 value counted toward the sorry, the Rite Aid anniversary sale, spend 100, get 20, um, spend an additional 50 after that, and for every 50, get 10. So 
the next week, I decided to buy the Moneymaker meters. And I, the, I decided to do that because I looked at the week after this one and saw that the Rite Aid diapers were going to be on sale, which also count toward that anniversary reward, okay? Um, so I decided to buy the meters. Now, the meters, um, they range in price depending on where you live, $9.49 um, to ten ninety nine, and oh, I'm sorry, nineteen forty nine to twenty ninety nine, and they're on sale this month till March second for ten dollars off. So they'll end up being anywhere from nine forty nine to ten ninety nine after that store sale. Okay, and if you go to your pharmacy and pick up a diabetes kit, there is a ten dollar off coupon for those meters in this kit. Now, when you buy the meter, okay, and you use the coupon, it's going to make it free if it's $9.49 or $9.99, or it's going to cost you $0.99 cents if it's $10.99 after the store sale. But you get back $5 for every meter that you buy, essentially making it a $4 or $5 money maker. Okay, so that's obviously a stock up price. Um, I don't use meters, I don't have a need for meters, but I do buy them when they're money makers, and I do donate them. So, I bought the meters, um, the limit was two per card, I used a card, I used my husband's card, and was able to get four of them. So, uh, because they're $10.99 where I live, so you can see, $10.99 minus that $10 coupon, $0.99, cents. I made $4 off of every meter, um, so I wound up with $20.00 in up rewards from those meters and um, twelve dollars from those toothpaste okay now I did use one of those five dollar meters to buy some of this Garnier product because I had a coupon for a free um, sorry for a free hair care for this Olea color and so I decided to do the spend 15 get 5 deal that they had going on um, so I used some Garnier coupons that came out in the newspaper on the uh, flat iron protector, the fortifying, um, what is that? I think it's conditioner. And I had a free coupon for this. Um, so I used one of those $5 meters coupons, um, which is an example of rolling. There's that $5 meter coupon. Um, there's that. I bought a second bare meter with that as well. So anyway, I got back two. $5 coupons for buying a hair from buying the Garnier products and a second meter. I used this $5, paid for these, and got back $5 from the Garnier, $5 from the contour, and then I bought two more of them before the week had ended. Um, and I actually bought a Snickers bar, but my boys ate it, but the Snickers bars were counting toward that anniversary reward, as well as my three Garnier products right here. The meters did not, the hair color did not, but these did. Okay, so uh, then we looked in the ad, and uh, we looked in the ad on iHeartWriter.com, okay, and saw that the Nivea lip balm would be on sale for two for three dollars, which is going on this week, all this week, two for three dollars, and there's a three dollar off two coupon in the paper. So we looked on iHeartWriter.com, saw that they were on sale for two for three looked in the database and online there's coupon databases couponing with greatthatdude.com has a great database you just type in um, like the brand that you're looking for and it'll tell you if there's a coupon so there's a three dollar off two coupon that came in the newspaper making them absolutely free for every two that you buy okay we saw that the poise was going to be on sale for $2.99 and when you bought one you got back a $2.99 up reward now if you got those three dollar manufacturer coupons it makes them free and then you get back $2.99 which is a money maker so again stock up price anything that's free the lip balm and a money maker the poise um, and then you know the tug -boos, I had been stockpiling my rewards so I already had um, 20 from this week from buying the meters and the Garnier and then I had 12 from this week and those 12 were going to expire so I used them to buy three packages of Tugaboos um, the Tugaboos were on sale $21.36 again I uh, for three of them for me again I looked online at iheartwriting.com and saw ahead of time what the sale was going to be spend 20 get back five 
good enough deal for me. Now, stock up price. Um, of course, this worked out really cheap because I paid with rewards, but I also have a list that I printed from a regional blog that I follow that has stock up prices for products. Um, and so one of them is diapers, store brand jumbo, stock up price, $3 or less. Okay, well, those definitely worked out to $3 or less after my rewards. So the Tugaboos were on sale, buy one, get one half off, spend 20, get five. Now, the Rite Aid, um, the Rite Aid rewards work like this. You have to spend that amount before your coupons, um, including your store rewards. They work like coupons. So if you spend that $20 before you use any coupons or store rewards, you're going to get back the store reward for the offer. So, um, for example, the poise, $2.99, get back a $3 up reward. It was free for me because I used two coupons, which they adjusted down to the price of the product. Paid absolutely nothing, and I got back two $2.99 up rewards. Make sense? Same thing with the Tugaboos. Okay, the Tugaboos, buy one, get one half off. So the first one was $9.29 um, for me. The second one was... 464 and then because of my gold discount which we talked about earlier the third one was seven dollars and 43 cents okay so that brought me to 21 dollars and 36 cents and so i got back five dollars which i actually have um in rewards from that deal okay the nivea and the tugaboo counted toward that anniversary sale okay so for that transaction i actually only paid 12 dollars i'm sorry 12 cents and here's why I used my up rewards from my toothpaste, okay? I used up rewards from the Bayer contour meters, okay? And my coupons for my Nivea, my coupons for my Poise, 12 cents. But I still got back five. Then... Mama! What, baby? Then the next day... I went back to get some more Tugaboos, okay, because I got back um, $11.96 from the Poise, because I have four Poise, $2.99 back for each one, so I can have $11.96 from Poise, $5 from Tugaboos, okay, plus I have another 10 left over from those two meters, because I didn't use all of them the day before. I bought three more Tugaboos, again, twenty-one thirty-six, and I bought the Goldfish. Now, the Goldfish was supposed to be counting toward the anniversary reward, but it didn't count. Okay, it didn't count. So I was pretty bummed. For me, it was a waste of $1.79. <laughs> I'm so cheap that it was a waste for me. Um, still a good price, I guess. My boys ate it. As you can see, they ate most of it. Um, but again, I paid with store rewards. I ended up paying $1.39 for three packs of Tugaboos and the Goldfish. Okay, and I got back another five from the Tugaboos. Then, today, to finish my reward, I bought these Tide Stain Release. They're counting. Okay, I was only about, I don't know, $14 short because my goldfish didn't count, else I wouldn't be $14 short. I'd only been like $12 short. Um, time stay release on sale for $5.94. Used two $3 coupons and my $5 up reward from my Tugaboos, okay? So I ended up paying $0.88 cents plus tax. And then I was still short. As you can see, it says $90.37. And that is legitimately because my goldfish didn't count, because I had planned the whole thing out. If my goldfish had counted, I would have been over $100, because the goldfish were $1.79. But they didn't. So about the three Mentos with my discount, they're $0.79 cents instead of the regular $0.99. Cents. It's 2 dollars And I got back uh, my $20 anniversary reward. So you can see 100 hundred dollars and seventy four cents. Okay. Now I didn't spend a hundred dollars and twenty four cents or seventy four cents. Um I probably probably spent about let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten bucks on everything. Everything didn't count toward the reward though but Probably spent about 10 bucks on everything to get to that anniversary reward and got back $20. So it's about a $10 moneymaker. 
Um, so basically that is how it's done. Um, that's rolling, rolling your rewards into another deal that's going to give you more rewards. Um, stacking, using a manufacturer coupon and a store coupon. Um, how to know what coupons are coming out. SundayCouponPreview.com is a great way. Uh, store, so store sales ahead of time. iHeartRiday.com, iHeartWags.com for Walgreens, iHeartCVS.com. Also, you can look on blogs like um, CouponingWithGregThatDude.com. He posts a lot of great scenarios that I usually don't see on other blogs. Um, you can find a local blog. Um, spotting a must-have deal. Free and Moneymaker is always a must-have deal for me. For other products, it's going to depend what what sales are in your area, what you really need right now, that kind of thing. Um, planning transactions. Um, I basically sit down, actually. I'll show you this list. This was actually my list that I did for this week to finish off my anniversary reward. It has my Nivea, which is right here. It has my Poise. It has the Tugaboos. Then it has the coupons I'm going to use. See, it has my subtotal, my coupons that I'm going to use, even my store rewards, what my price should be after that. I, I always estimate tax. My, my tax is about 10%. It's not quite 10%, but it's about 10%. And then I have the store rewards that I'm going to get back when I do that transaction. Okay? And then here's my second transaction of Tugaboos. What I should pay after my store rewards. What I should get back. Okay? There's my Tide Boost what I should pay, what I should get back, and of course because my goldfish um, didn't count, which I think I added in somewhere over here, because my goldfish didn't count those goldfish, even though they're on the official list, I had to add in these Mentos, because I didn't feel like going back tomorrow, so. Alright, I hope that answers some questions. Um, sorry for my children in the background, probably. It's nap, it's not nap time, it's bedtime. They're not trying to hear that. Okay, so that's everything. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Hope everybody is having a great evening.